You know, amazing. America just voted for a guy that believes windmills cause cancer. Maybe that's what happened to this fellow. Uh, interesting thing. You know, almost 15 million people were absent this time. In other words, 2020, uh, the numbers added up to whatever. But this election, there were 15 million less voters. And it was crucial. We had more to risk on this election than even the previous one. This time we knew what Donald Trump was about. We know about Project 2025. We know about you know, the, the, the deaths caused from Roe versus Wade, the reversal of Roe versus Wade, all these things. And also another element that's become quite fascinating, and that is the immigrants, immigration. And what I mean, not the Mexican field workers, not the people that provide the food for our table. I'm talking about the parasites that come in and exploit American technology, American industry, and American capital. Plus, Rupert Murdoch. I mean, what does Rupert Murdoch contribute to democracy? I mean, most immigrants come in and they believe they come here for democracy. And yet Rupert Murdoch seems intent upon destroying it with Fox News and the, and the Post and a litany of, of lies, misinformation, partisan propaganda. And, uh, you know, I mean, here's, here's a guy that's lost millions in lawsuits for lying about elections. And now we have Elon Musk, another immigrant from North Africa, South Africa, excuse me. And, you know, he's millions to the Trump campaign, or what's in it for him, obviously government contracts. But here's another guy with absolutely no loyalty to American democracy, no loyalty to American workers. I mean, hell's bells, when he bought Twitter, he fired 4,000 people without notice. Recently, he fired 6,000 Tesla workers, I think, in Arizona, without notice. So don't tell me these guys are concerned about the welfare of America, because they're not. They're concerned with their pocketbook. They're Trump supporters. So what does that tell you about Trump? 15 million people did not turn up to vote that turned up last time. And here we have crucial issues. Crucial, crucial issues. It was an extremely important election. And they elected a person who said he would be a dictator from day one. Think on that.